In this video, we're going to be looking at the ASP.NET login view control. Uh, the login view control has two templates. It has the anonymous template and the logged in template. Uh, you can modify the content of this template to display different content to the authenticated user and different content to the anonymous user on the website. So I'm going to take you to the VWD now and show you that there is a way, better way we could have done this. Remember here we say welcome, then we put the username, feel free to check the fact. What if we would just want to display this information uh, to a logged in user and display another content to a uh, logged out user? So what we'll do is uh, we are going to, let's remove this uh, one, it's not really useful for us. So what we're going to create now is uh, we're going to use a login view. So if we drag a login view onto the page, so we now have two templates. So we have the view, which is for the anonymous template. So we can say inside the login view, we can type, please login to uh, continue so this is the view for people who are locked out because they're anonymous templates so if you change the template to logged in template then this is where we can say welcome and then let's add the uh, login name here remember you can put another control inside you can put this control login name inside the login view so you can display the name of the user so if we and a way to do it is you can just double click it and it's going to hide itself inside so we can say uh, welcome then uh, feel free welcome you can just put welcome then the username so when the user is logged in they will see the welcome and their name but when they anonymous they can say please click uh, please log in to continue so let's uh, run the website we want to run any page so this is the master page actually if you run the master page you may have noticed is what it does is just going to present it with a list of um, other pages when you run the master page it doesn't do anything it just pro uh, tell you the directory listing so we can click on any page let's click on staff sort page 2 and it's going to take us to st staff sort page as you see now it said please log in to continue so we can click it to log in or we can use the login on the top so we have so many controls in our possession so now we have admin 2 and we can use the remember we change the password to password 3 with a dollar sign so we can use that to login so once we log in we should see a different view here and it's a welcome admin 2 so the better way to do it is using the uh, login view which can gives you two views one view for being logged out and one view for being logged in so um, we have covered all the six login controls now and just like I said in the previous uh, video I will be doing a lot of uh, uh, advanced videos where you can use more options from these uh, controls to even do better things on your website but as they are now all these controls are very useful you can use it to create a user you can use it to allow user to log in you can display username you can have different view for uh, you can protect some pages from users so you've learned everything that is possible to create a membership website so go ahead and try them out and i will see you in the next video thank you